got Joe Dirty here. Um, I'm doing a long overdue uh, recording. I'm showing you the differences between direct inject and motor mouth mount modulator at different uh, percents of modulation. I'm transmitting at exactly 8,000 hertz wide and receiving at exactly 8,000 hertz wide using my uh, SDR receiver. Right now I'm transmitting on the, uh, the Cobra 2000 with direct inject and we're going to switch on over here to the uh, the motor mouth mount modulator running um, exactly 100% modulation. I have both the direct inject and modulator installed on the same radio and we'll be using a uh, tone and an oscilloscope to uh, make sure the percents of modulation are exactly the same. So we're going to switch on over here real quick. Now here's the uh, motor mouth mount modulator running exactly 100% modulation. And uh, you can kind of hear a, a slight difference between the uh, two, but uh, they both produce a uh, perfect sine wave at 100% modulation, and they're both linear at 100%. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to raise the motor mouth mount modulator to 150% modulation. And there is 150% modulation with the motor mouth mount modulator. Now I have the automatic gain control disabled, so uh, you will not, uh, or you will be able to hear the differences uh, in volume without having that uh, that affect it. And um, you also hear a little bit more distortion coming in, uh, coming in with my audio. And uh, the motor mouth mount modulator does produce a little bit of distortion whenever you're at 150% modulation. And also some of the distortions, probably, or most of it's probably coming from the uh, the receiver. It's a SDR receiver, so I'm assuming it'll do a little bit better job demodulating 150% than a uh, your standard receiver with crystal filters. Now we're going to switch on over here to direct inject running 150% modulation. And uh, here is 150% uh, with, uh, with the direct inject. And uh, there is a substantial difference in distortion over the motor mouth mount modulator at the same percentage of modulation and that's because the uh, carrier is now pinching off on the uh, direct inject radio. I do have some asymmetry in my voice and with a properly phased microphone but a, uh, at 150% with direct inject I cannot overcome that. So uh, there will be uh, quite a bit of distortion. So now we're going to raise the direct inject up to 200% modulation. And uh, there's 200% modulation with the direct inject. And uh, that's quite a bit of distortion. So now we're going to switch on over to the motor mount mount modulator running 200% modulation. And here's the motor mount mount modulator running 200% modulation. And uh, you can tell that's quite a bit better than the uh, direct inject at 200% modulation. And, uh, well, mainly because my carrier is not pinching off and creating all those uh, nasty harmonics. So I'm going to lower this back down to 100% modulation just to show you uh, uh, where we came from on our baseline. And uh, there's 100% modulation with the direct in or the motor mount mount modulator. I hope you enjoyed this gate. Joe Dirt out here in the great Pacific Northwest.